This playthrough is rated T for teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Welcome back here with another episode of Front Mission 3. In the last episode, the Wulan joined our team finally. Kazuki's dad got off his butt, and now we're going to help him with his uh, little plan to stop uh, Lukov. But one step at a time. First, we got to get Commander uh, Commander Isagai from where he's at, who's been uh, pretending to let himself be captured to delay them as well as uh, prevent civilian deaths. So let's see if we can save him by uh, going through the sewer treatment plant, at least the second part of it anyway. So... Commander Isogai, will you not cooperate with us? You're wasting your time. I won't participate in the coup. We don't want to get rough. Can't you understand? How many colleagues do you think you killed at Kaita Base? Sacrifice is always necessary for the realization of ideals. That's what, that's what psychopaths use an excuse. And that's your method of operation. Tell Sasaki I won't do anything until there's an official order from the government. What is the government doing? They probably just run around with their tail in between their legs because they can't do anything. Like most governments. You are stubborn. Lieutenant, we lost contact with the underground defense team. Now that goes so much for a surprise attack, I guess. The enemy is here. Commander Isagai, I must hold you in another room. I won't escape. Do what you want. Take him away. Yes, sir. Now so much for... Yeah, so much for a surprise situation. We're going to have to just go in and hope for the best. Well, there appears to be a dispatch from the lieutenant. Put him through. Major, they appeared in Nagoya. Can you hold them? I'll try. Watch out for imaginary numbers. They're not here to work with us. They're after something else. Yes, sir. Major, what are they after? I don't know yet, but I'll blow Lukov's cover. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's the benefit for the good guys, that the bad guys start distrusting each other, stabbing each other in the back. The enemy is near! Deploy the forces! Is the enemy here? Imaginary number. There are only a few of them. We don't need your assistance. You don't need us? Yes! This is a Japanese problem. You foreigners shouldn't get involved. I guess I can understand pride, patriotism, and all that fun jazz. Fine, we'll stand by. They're all so creepy. Where is the enemy? Well, I mean, they're basically robots, really, when you think about it. They're moving through the sewer, heading in our direction. They're after us. Take care of them before they go above ground. Yes, sir. Hmm. Well, looks like, uh, looks like we'll just have to prepare for the worst as we go deeper into the sewage. Fam should be enjoying this quite a bit. Well, it looks like a pretty pretty straightforward area, so we don't have to worry about getting lost or anything like that. I hope not, anyway. It's kind of, I'm trying to remember what this reminds me of. It reminds me of a... What was that one area again? Man, that was a while back, too. It was like in... Uh, back in uh, the Philippines, where we also had a lot of close 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 quarter areas. Was it when we were going through the, um, the the tank or the the battle? Not the battleship. It was. I think it was that one base. Now yeah, whatever. Wow, it's like a giant underground maze. Really, it looked pretty straightforward to me. Are we near the exit yet? Oh my God! Quit complaining. Hang in there. We're almost there. Kazuki. What's up, Land? What is it? The surface elevator is out to power. It won't move. Hmm. At least they're really giving the land some lines after joining us. Are there any other paths? I think this is the only way. What a dead end! Hmm. That sucks for us, I guess. Does that elevator work? It's for the workers. Let's check it out. Hmm. So is that how we're going to get up? Well, that's going to be kind of annoying. This one works. There's a power switch for the elevator up there. Someone will have to go up there and turn the power on. One, two, three. Not it. Not it. Not it. Not it. <laughs> not it. Dang it! <laughs> what? Why are you all looking at me? Yeah, I should know they choose the comic relief character. I don't want to go outside. Wait. What? Okay, whatever. Miyoko, you always seem good at running away. What? Running away? What does he ever run away? Ryoko is always, like, 
joined the group, helped Kazuki out this whole time. I don't think he's ever been shown to be in a coward. He usually jokes about that type of stuff, but never actually does that. What is it? Why? What? What? What are you guys talking about? He's, why did you be useful for a change? Useful? He's like the next to like. Well, currently now it's Fam, but next to Fam, he was like in my previous campaign. He was the MVP. He was like the most helpful unit. Although I guess anyone could be built like that, but still. Why are they all getting up? Well, it's because the comic right? All right, I'll go. That's what you want, right? It seems unnecessarily cruel to do that because he's actually been very helpful. He's been there since the beginning. You know. We're okay. Will you go by? Will you be okay by yourself? Don't worry. Head back if you run into trouble. Easy for you to say, dude. I was actually just about to say that. <laughs> and then the game game knows me too well. This almost creepy. I'd like to see you try it. Yeah, well. And where's Meyer anyway? Mayor. Oh, I mean, she's there, but she's not important to this current conversation. So. so, where's the switch? Is that it? Uh, just that little platform up there. Wait, what's that? Is that a door opening? Uh oh. That's not good. Enemies. Well, at least they can't see me because I'm pretty much hidden by the. Uh, or they can see me hidden by the. Okay, then. We found them. We're beginning our attack. Man, I knew there'd be enemies. Wait, why'd you run back? Couldn't you have gotten to the switch before? Maybe if I rushed it, I might have a chance. Well, you could have rushed it, but you ran back. Hey, can you hear me? Yes? Queen Slay. I mean, yes. Maybe you ran into a mouse. No, you jerk. We've got enemies. Jerk. <laughs> that seems kind of tame now. Uh, I'm flipping the switch. Get up here. Ryoga, be careful. Be careful, you're the one who made me come up here. I'm coming back to haunt you if I die. <laughs> that seems to be a common thing. I was like, I'll, I'll haunt you if I die. Oh man, looks like Ryogo's going to have to save the day. Well, I mean, uh, hey, he's an MVP, right? So, uh, For this fight, we can only choose three characters because Ryogo's uh, currently uh, required for this. So, I'm going to use... Uh, well, for now, it doesn't really matter who you choose, but I'll probably end up choosing these people anyway. For There's a reason for that. You want to stick with an anti-piercing gun with everyone because of the uh, mechs we're be used, or that we're fighting against. Um, most of them use piercing. I mean, we do have some... Uh, we do have some, a uh, couple of uh, um, piercing shots from a couple of soldiers there. They're there to cause Ryoga trouble while he goes flip the switch. It's either... I think you just have to either... I think you'd have to stand like on this spot here if I remember correctly to activate it. B, I had to basically step there, lower it down. I think after that. Oh no, you only have to do it once. That's right, because as soon as he gets to it, it raises this and raises everyone up. But you do have to waste like um, like two turns getting to the switch or whatever. I think two or three turns. So that's two or three turns. You can't. You know, you have to hold off on, on fighting the guys. But anyway, we've got a couple of Shunyo Mark 111s there. They, ooh, they have revenge. That can hurt. Um, yeah, let's see, I think they all, I think all the Shunyos have a Mark. And if you want to capture some Shunyos, here's a good chance for capture three of them, if you want. Uh, let's see, we got some, oh, we got a Kazel. It's been a while since we've seen that mech. At least it's designed properly. It actually has a melee. Unlike some of the previous fights where melee units were given sniper rifles and so forth and so on. Uh, okay, yeah, I didn't have any battle skills. Uh, I don't think the Enios have any. Nah, I think I don't have any, um, anything there. Okay, so the specs for this one for Platinum are we had to defeat the eight enemies there. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, 35 attacks, 115 damage, so that's pretty nice. I guess it's making up for the whole, these guys have revenge, so there's a chance we can get hurt pretty badly. That's why you want the uh, piercing is in case they go all revenge on you. Um, average weapon level 14 and number of turns 12. Um, okay. So, now, yeah, this fight, uh, you have to use at least three turns. You have to get it within, like, nine turns. That's why they give you so many. However, there's actually an alternate to this, uh, battle. Like, this is what most people have to go through. They'll have to play this version of the fight. However, there's another version of this fight. Let me go back to the title screen. We'll have to reload. Because we have to reload to a point before the chapter officially starts. Um, to do that. So let me just load up my file here before this situation. Um, 
Oh, and I think I forgot to check if there was any... Did I check mail last episode? I took a break since that recording session, so I've like... I've, uh... I, uh my brain... Brain didn't immediately remember, like, what happened last time. So we did go to the network. So yay, some networking for a while. Okay. I don't... And uh, let's see. Actually, let me check mail before we go on further, just to make sure. Um... Uh, now we need to go to the network for... Oh, okay. Well, good chance to do it now. Miss Hasako, listen. Listen, Ryoga, I got moved from my hotel because of a state of emergency. And I thought I got away from the coup. There's a guy named Yush uh, Yoshihisa Ushihisa at the hotel. He's pretty interesting. He's going to the Philippines. I'm going home in a few days. How about you? What? <laughs> okay. Uh, Ryoga doesn't have anything to say about that. Mori, rescue. I heard you were in Nagoya. I found something on the Ministry of Transportation's website that might be useful. It's about the sewer expansion and plan in re Nagoya. Punch in I WNTJ to download the file. Looks like I'll go recover sooner than I expected. I hope to see you soon. Yeah, this is the this is the email we wanted. So, uh, okay, it's Ministry of Transportation, WNTJ. Okay, can we send an email? Oh, we can send something to Mori at least. Rest. How are you? Are you getting plenty of rest? I thought about buying you a souvenir in Nagoya, but I don't think I'll have the time. Sorry. Oh, yeah, and I guess, uh, yeah, uh, me, Mori was the guy who, who sent that letter like so long ago. Um, I'd almost forgotten about that, actually. Um, okay, so Ministry of Transportation in uh, WNTJ. That's actually where we, that's actually where we need to go. I was trying to remember how we, how we're supposed to figure that out, this little thing out, but yeah, you have to read the mail. So one of the few times reading the mail and checking that type of stuff actually affects something out in the game. Um, there might be other times where it affects it, but for the most part, that's the big thing. Uh, I think it's under... Uh, let's see. No. No. I think it's... Hold on. Uh, it must be that. Okay. Was it this one? Or do I have to go to the government uh, website officially? Nagoya. And then... The Nagoya Sewage Treatment Expansion. The construction of an underground sewage treatment plant in Nagoya was to, to be completed this year. However, the expected rise in population was delayed, has delayed the completion of the plant while it expanded. The expansion will include three processing facilities, two secondary processing facilities, a purifying facility, and connections to the current facilities. An increase in high-grade recycling will be achieved by the expansion of the underground facility below Chigusa Ward. So now we can uh, download the facility map for that. Um, w N Jay, right? Yep. What's that, Miho? Information on the sewage processing system in Nagoya. I was wondering if it might be helpful. Great job! Hey, why not follow her example once in a while? Why is everyone picking on him? Why is everyone always picking on me? Dot, dot, dot. Alright. Now that we've downloaded it... Oops. I didn't... Um, I think we can actually look at it, too, maybe. Let me go back to the... Yeah, unfortunately, that's pretty much all the all the network we're gonna do at least until the end of the episode. Hopefully, I'll have a few minutes, but if not, I'll eh, I'll figure something out. Maybe at the maybe at the beginning, maybe next episode, I'll do I'll just make it a bonus episode of of networking or something like that. Uh, okay, so we want to exit out of here. I don't I don't think I figured this out the first time I played this either. I think I I found out about this like um, oh yeah, let me show you the. Simulator is what we've got right now. Um, yeah, Nanjing was given to us by uh, um, by that one guy, Tash Tashi Kawa or whatever. I think I'm missing a couple other simulation tests from networking that I haven't shown on screen that you can download. Um, let's see if I can actually look at the... Oh yeah, I still haven't shown the Ivan or Anthony Barkin's like, report that we got from Liu stuff. Ugh, sorry about that. <laughs> um... Oh, there's the Nagoya sewer. Okay. Ooh, ah. Oh, it even shows the switch and everything like that. 
and how to get around and all that. I don't think we can do anything with it. Yeah, I'm missing all these like little little uh, internet like web programs because I haven't actually gone off screen to even do them. So I apologize for that. <laughs> There's so much stuff I. <laughs> I was able to get networking pretty consistently throughout the game, but and I was even getting episodes where I'd almost done everything I could, and then all of a sudden, bam, back to back, back to back, back to back. But the episodes were so long that I didn't want to like make hour long. Although the last couple of episodes have been almost hour long, so I guess I can't really use that excuse, can I? But uh, uh, uh yeah, I have to. Unfortunately, I have to go through all this again. I think the. I think the only dialogue that changes is at the beginning. I think I can... I mean, I guess I could have quickly checked to see if uh, if they said... Uh, uh, let's see. Yeah, through the sewer. I don't know. I was just double-checking to see if I... I think the only dialogue that changes is, is this part here, because now that we've had the map to uh, Nagoya, now we know what we're doing. Um... Uh, I don't think I think if you do the whole sewer thing after this occurs, I don't think you get that conversation with Miho and Ryogo. I think it's you just do it and nothing comes of it. But yeah, I think this is one of the only times that going through your mail and going to the uh, uh, networking actually affects the storyline a bit. Not by much. It's only slightly. I kind of wish that I kind of wish there was more like optional stuff that could occur by networking that would affect the story. And unfortunately, they don't really utilize that in the later front mission either. I think that would have been pretty cool if they'd uh, uh, if they'd done that. Wow, it's like a, okay, that's the same. And you have the exit. Almost there. It should be the. Uh, let's see, it's out of power. Any other way? I think, uh, wait. Oh, I think, uh, what is it? Tell us! I think I saw a place for the emergency power on the blueprints. Where? I'm not sure. Yeah, here's where the dialogue changes. Found, uh, found it. Damn, we wasted too much time. Indeed we did. <laughs> well, it's not the obvious there, Miho. Dot, dot, dot. All right, we're going up. Be careful, the enemy may be waiting for us. All right. Yep, and since we got that map, we found we found the the switch, and now we completely bypass the Ryogo pushing the switch so unfortunately by doing that you kind of miss out on Ryogo kind of uh, um, getting kind of like show major show time I mean he's had major show time throughout the whole game but I've noticed recently he's only gotten like kind of bits and pieces here and there um, as opposed to early in the game because there's only him and a couple of characters but then he gets another even though it's hit, the main character's making fun of him but still but now that we bypass it it's Miho figures it out and then we just start the fight on top, so we completely ignore the whole real going foot location. Target located, initiate attack. Yeah, there are enemies. We can do it. There aren't that many. All right, let's show them what we got. Show them what we got. But yeah, so and Ryogo isn't required. So if for some reason you don't like using Ryogo, you know. You don't have to use him for this one. Uh, but yeah, now he's choosable again. Uh, let's see. How do I want to... Uh, let me go Let me go with Alyssa this time. Mainly because I changed her mech out to equip uh, um, an 8-pack eight, eight this time. So I had, to, I had to swap out her Kazel legs, which unfortunately don't give us as much HP. But she's mainly going to be... She's either going to be shooting missiles or using her shield anyway. She shouldn't be so close to the fight that I have to worry about evade and all this other stuff. So... Um, well, hopefully it works out like I do. Uh, let's see, D. Uh, I think I'm going to use... I think I'll swap to Miho this time. Uh, yeah, let's do Miho and Fam, even though that kind of doubles up. That won't give me any piercing uh, damage, but... Uh, Alright. Yeah, let's... Uh, oh, we want to do piercing. Uh, I think I mentioned that earlier, so... Alright. <coughs> 
Um, other than that, uh, I think, uh, I don't think there's really much else to really say about this fight. It's pretty straightforward. Um, yeah, uh, Melissa, now that I've swapped out her lace to Enyo, she's got very little actual movement. She can only dash pretty far. But I think when it comes to missile launching, I think that's oh, uh, fine for what it is. Uh, how many anti-fires? Oh, man, they're all anti-fire. That's right. Oh, well. Uh, well, I don't have any piercing, so so that's not that big of a deal there. Uh, let's see. That should be enough to hit that guy. But now that I can now carry four missile things, so for some reason, somehow I get... What? What? Mm. All right, fine. Whatever. Um, what was her percentage to hit? I thought it was pretty good. Maybe, maybe not. Alright, yeah, whatever. Um, I do... That only gives give me two, um, uh, shield uh, defenses. Wow, his attack hit the pilot? Huh, well... Error hit percentage was pretty good, so it's a good chance to possibly hit to kill the guy in one go. I can't believe I missed with that. Ugh. Mm. Well, because yeah. they'll gang up on me if I do that, though. But, uh, well, Fan will have a lot of shield use, though. And usually the sh the Misslers will go probably go after Alyssa. Oh, she's only got two AP, though. Maybe I should have... Mm. Nah, that's fine. Whatever. I was hoping she could... Something, like some combo or something like that going, but all right. Shield attack. Are you gonna combo like 50 times like you always do? Seriously, dude. Like, like, <laughs> fam is. Be I, at first, I wasn't sure about a pure melee build. I mean, I've done it before, but I don't know. Just fam has just been working out, especially with her shield attacks. Although, if you equipped a lot of the same skill, there's higher chances of it activating. I forgot how the percentages work, but, but yeah, the uh, the percentages go up um, pretty high uh, if it's all the same skill. So that's why a lot of people will, with like Ryogo, do like um, all all rate of fire build, which I've done that for the most part. But I still can't get him to activate though. I don't know. It's just weird. Uh, he's just gonna punch. Uh, eh, best to block it. Those melee does so much damage. So and even with the shield, I did quite a bit. Um, yep, and here's someone moving up to. Unfortunately, I only have the one shield, so I'll have to. Um, I'll have to take the next hit, unfortunately. Yeah, oh well. Wait, he has 91%. I want to know what my percentage at that guy was. If, if it was anything but 91 and I still missed, I'm going to be rather cross. Yeah, let's see. What was my thing to hit? 83? Why is it so low? It should be higher, shouldn't it? Isn't my... I'm using the meat tang arm, right? So it sh is it... It's like 81% or something like that. Or not 81, it's like... Hmm. Oh, Alright, whatever. Oh, do I want to... Hmm. Well, let's, uh, let's look at my options before we do that. Let's see. Oh, he's kind of dangerous. Let me shoot... Uh, that you and you... Wait, no. Wait, hold on here. No, you're the shun. You're the end you. You're the end you. Definitely want to get rid of you. No, the anti impact no. Could do. I always get one block if I do that. Activate something? Finally, something! I mean, I was one rate of fire, but I'll take AP because I need that more. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, well. At least I'm acquiring something for her. Um, yeah, sh a uh, shotgun is definitely not gonna take it out. Ah, come on! It didn't even blow up his. Uh, it didn't even blow up his. Uh, um, yeah, it's on his left arm. So, golly, come on! Yeah, that's not gonna do enough damage to finish it off, and he's still gonna get a missile in. <laughs> Ugh. Ooh, nice. Free to fire! Yeah, that reduces uh, almost cold. Oh, yeah, that E damage uh, reduction reduces uh, impact resistance by quite a bit, so that's why it did quite a bit of damage to him. So. Yeah, if those skills activate, they could be good. It's just, you know, it's like a lot of things. It's. Salvo, salvo, salvo. Yes! Haha! <laughs> Sweet! I love it when the plan comes together. I don't know if that's a great plan, but oh, and I even blew up his uh, his arm too. Yes! <laughs> yeah, Salvo turns missile users into like just beasts. They're already beasts to begin with when you think about it, but just being able to Salvo. I mean, yeah, they can only attack if it happens regularly. They can only attack every other turn, but still, still pretty impressive. Yeah, better better block that when you do like a hundred damage every time. Yeesh. Alright. Alright. Nice, nice, nice. Why is that guy running away, though? Alright, anyway. Let's take out these guys. Uh, uh, let's see. Did I? Oh, yeah, I took out all the missiles. So I don't know about that. Uh, <coughs> oh, yeah, we'll have to waste a turn on that. But we got 12 turns to... to uh, um, yeah, the... the Platinum doesn't change, like the requirements don't change even if you, you know, figure out the uh, uh, map thing quickly. So I have like plenty of time to like take them out so I don't have to worry about my missiles running out. So yeah, you're doing the most damage, so I'm gonna make sure to. Yeah, that wasn't very good. Let's try uh, that. She keeps activating AP 30, but she doesn't activate rate of fire. Yeah, I'd rather have AP. I guess the AP is going to activate. Uh, I'm hoping she'll activate. Because she, she gets punished. She'll take a ton of damage. Um, yeah, let's do it. Whew, yes. I almost don't want to give her a different computer that'll, that'll like, give her high combo or high, act, or high activate because... I almost feel like the computer she's got. What? Missed? Shield attack three! I think that does like double the damage of the HP of the. the yeah. So, like, shield attack one does like the, your HP, uh, the arm, and damage. Then, uh. Shield attack two does like one point, like, five or something like that. Um. And then. Yeah, best to have you shield that. And then shield attack three does double your shield HP and damage. So like her arm that's like 500 HP or whatever will do a thousand damage, which really that only that's that kind of damage is only necessary on like boss like robots or whatever. Uh, let's see, should we just have her like shield missile? Oh, he's anti fire, but he's the farthest away. Uh, maybe we'll get Salvo again. That will get that will reduce his uh, yes. So the great that's a great combination. Reduce their d defense against the fire if they have it, and then salvo. Are you kidding me? How many? Of the oh well, he killed him anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. But like three of them missed. That was ridiculous. Or four, something like that. A lot of them missed. I was like eighty percent. Man, this game just like just like keeps tweaking my buttons. Um, uh, okay, let's uh, now let's take out this guy. <coughs> Eleven hits should get something. Finally got rate of fire unlocked. Jeez, that took a hot minute. And if he actually hits him. Oh come on! Really? Well, either way, I got rate of fire up. That's what I wanted. So. All right. Um. 
do. That's not too bad. <clears throat> Alright, let's punch you. Yes! Yes, Queen. Man, like I said, that fam is probably the MVP of this. This like as not when you immediately get her, but when we get into her stride, when we finally get all the shield and pack them on and everything. So much for capturing any of these mechs, though, right? But I didn't really. I only captured the one, and that's all I really needed to capture. Really, <coughs> I didn't really care about uh. Because really, the mech, the mech parts themselves on the Shen Yu's are okay, but nothing. Like, really, the the AP-60 might be not too bad, but I think that's a two-cost one. Um, which would be useful for, like, the missile users. You know, but uh, at this point, now that we're getting such decent amount of HP um, from growth, it's not as a, <coughs> it's not as important anymore. Oh, nice. Just comboing all up up. See, yeah, she could be a pretty, pretty beastly character if you can give her like a ton of rate of fire, AP third minus thirty, and then you just do her AP eleven one, which gives her more hits than the standard machine gun, and boom, there you go. But yeah, right now, Fam's still MVP of this of this uh, um, encounter, or just any of it, just like the last so many encounters, just. I just had to be careful about, you know, gaining her weapon up too low. But her weapon level is pretty good. Like, we... I think we have to hit, like, S... Or, I think after D, I think it goes to S rank, I think, after that. But, um, but yeah, our weapon levels are, are low enough easily. And we're still doing pretty good. There should be an elevator that leads to the camp factory. We can get to the factory with it. So we can finally get out of here? Yes, yes we can. God, as soon as I stop your whining. Don't let your guard down, it's not over yet. We haven't got time to goof around. Hurry! All right, all right, you calm, you calm, you calm yourself, man. Calm yourself before you wreck yourself. But yeah, that one was pretty smooth. Uh, let's see if any males popped up in, in between. I don't think so, but... Yeah, that was a lot smoother of a fight than previously, and it doesn't take me an hour. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think pretty much for the rest of the game, I don't think we're really going to have any really, really short episodes anymore. I think it's all all from here. I think, yeah, either the next episode or the episode afterwards, I think I'm going to do... I think I'm going to wait till after the, the plant storyline, because we've got one more... Um, mission to do that with. I think after that then I'll sit down and just do a bunch of networking back to back and uh, that way I can show you all the stuff we missed because yeah there's a lot of websites doing a lot in between last time I did like some major networking because there's almost like every other major person we talked to gave us a new website like just all of a sudden it's just like boom here you go here's another website it's crazy. It's kind of crazy how they say I could swear the USN game that it we didn't get like a barrage of it at the very end. It kind of evened out pretty evenly. But in this game, it's like, like pretty much after, as soon as we go, like right before the end of the DHC and the and we start the Japanese part of the ending, ending of the game, it just like, here's a ton of websites. Boom, here you go. All, all the stuff. But anyway, will we be able to get to the uh, uh, chemical plant proper and save Isagai and get this, and get this party started? Find out next time in the next episode of Front Mission 3. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.